Hello, internet world. Uh, haven't really posted a video like this, have I? Uh, no, this is new. Um, but I wanted to just update. This goes out to anyone I know. I'll make a post about it. But basically, I'm going through some shit, and uh, I figured. I'm doing this. I'll talk about it. And if you're curious, uh, Hannah the Horrible highly recommend her channel. Anyway. So, well, I mean, my, I'm going through some shit. Well, um, I am having some nice medical issues that are preventing me from working yay so i've been stuck at home and uh that's great and before you ask i've been to the doctor multiple times i've been to multiple things that could relate to the thing and uh aside from physical therapy which i'll get to in a minute um nothing really seems to be helping even the physical therapy but that probably takes time so trying to write that out but i just it feels like i'm going around in circles I guess technically this has been going on for about a year or a little over that, but it didn't get really bad till the end of last year or the start of this year, and it's it's been a while, a long while. But basically, I uh, started working at a factory. Uh, I'm not going to say which, because it doesn't matter. But the job entailed me doing some really physical stuff, which I didn't mind. You know, I kind of liked it. It was... The only downside was it was night shift, and the shift was 10 hours. So, that was the only downside, but everything else was pretty fine. The pay was good. Um, but... Couldn't really work because I kept having to leave due to medical issues and health issues. Mainly my asthma and anxiety, and my supervisor, his wife, also had asthma and anxiety, so he was like, yeah, I don't think this is such a good idea. So he understood why I quit and had to leave. Uh, so that was great, you know but couldn't do the job I was hired for and they didn't have any openings so couldn't work there at least for now so then I went to work at um a store not gonna say which because I don't know if I'm allowed to uh, if I find out I can I'll let you know which one it was but I don't think I can so I won't uh but Working at a store was janitorial duties, which, don't mind, I actually really like cleaning, so I was fine with that. Um, downside was that uh, I only worked about two weeks, and I was doing part-time on weekends, so it was like <laughs> four days of work. I guess, um, technically, but it counted as two weeks, so, I got fired because I kept having to leave and or not show up because of my health issues, which, you know, was, damn it, but, you know, that's a fun time to just, you know, and 
so I've been to the emergency room and all that jazz because of that. Because it really started getting bad soon after. So. I went to the emergency room. They said I had high, yeah, hyperthyroidism. Uh, then got the test done later at my actual doctor's office. My thyroid was fine then, so they rule out thyroid issues. Uh, the only thing we can think of is vertigo, and I haven't even said what uh, the issues were. It was being constantly dizzy all the time, no matter what I did. If I sat down, if I stood up, if I stopped moving entirely. Nope. And it still happens even when I don't do anything. So I think it's vertigo, but I don't actually know. The doctors don't even know 100% either, so that's nice. But, hopefully, it'll get better with more physical therapy that I do and the exercises I have to do. There's just a lot of things that have been going on. Um, uh, before all of this medical bullshit and now, all this medical bullshit. So... I'm kind of tired and just done with stuff and I, I don't know. I'm getting more depressed lately, I guess. I just, I want to work. Uh, but I can't. Not till we figure out what's going on. Somebody will probably be like, yeah, you can, but like, no, no. Because if I work on one of the really bad days, I'm not going to be able to walk without using a cane or, you know, grabbing onto a wall. Depending, they might not let me use my cane, which is bullshit. They should, because I'll need it if it's a really bad day. It's not a bad day, then. I might be okay, but it also highly depends on what I have to do. Because if I have to do... <laughs> really laborious task, then it's going to be more of an issue, as I found out. But even the job I had before my factory job was pretty laborious, and that one was a family business, so I've been told maybe I can go back to that, but ugh, I just need Something that won't be too laborious on me, at least for now, till we figure out what's going on and how to work with it. So if I can't do that, then I don't know. It's just it's been really bumming me out, I guess. So I guess I wanted to talk about it to someone. I'm just annoyed. I can't do anything and most of the time I barely have the energy to do things that I like. Like right now the fact that I'm painting is a miracle in and of itself because I'm just not had the energy to do anything. So 
but I'm trying to at least get some stuff done, whether that's do something I like and then hope I can do it, finish it, or get at least a third of the way done with whatever I was doing, but who knows. Just, it's really frustrating to not really know what's going on. I just feel like I'm completely useless at the moment if I can't even do simple housework sometimes. It's, um, <sighs> it's been very annoying. And just, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm kind of just completely useless at the sum of the illness. This will sound like I'm trying to get people to buy my stuff for sympathy, but <laughs> that is kind of what it is. And also, I do have a Redbubble store, so I'll put the link in the description, but anyone would like to buy anything or at least share that I have it, that'd be helpful. You have no idea how much that would help me out. Because I just need some money. I don't need a lot. Just a little bit. Just enough. Some people drive me places because I can't drive because of my dizziness. Um, you know, I can pay them back for gas money. Especially now, because, yeesh, it is, uh, really bad with, uh, the prices. Like, or even just get them food as payment. That would work. They just... Like, I keep saying, I feel just kind of useless. but yeah I do what I have to do for now and if what I have to do for now is back some money on the internet I'm gonna back for money on the internet I never thought about making a specific type of channel or a page with specific, uh, you know, specific, 
specifics. There we go. Uh, well, I wouldn't mind doing that. I don't know. 100% yeah on that. So I'm holding off on that. I don't know, it's just, I'd like to be able to prove to people that I can do what I'd like to do without, you know, having to do other things that I necessarily wouldn't have to do, but I don't know. I just kind of have a feeling that people in my family don't think I can make it on my own, especially now. With uh, everything going on medically. <sighs> well, I want to prove them wrong right now. I can't, and I'm aware of that. You know, there are other issues going on, specific issues I might talk about later. Right now I don't want to talk and or think about those issues, but I'll do it eventually. If not, I won't. If so, I will. You know, I just... Now I need a break from the internet because honestly, the internet's a nice distraction to help me out. So I'd argue I need more than anything right now, but you know. Anyway, that's well, pretty much. This video was basically nothing wrapped in nothing me trying to explain something that I think no one understands because even I don't understand it. Basic gist is I'm dizzy and tired all the time now, <laughs> which is great. I know it doesn't seem like I'm doing much with the, this, but that as basically is enough to all my energy. That's great. So I just gotta I don't know. I just figure out a way to just try and make things work harder than it seems but that's it for now I guess so uh bye